up, everyone? Mark Lobiner, TigerFitness.com. Ah, uh, this is sent to the uh, TigerFitness.com site from Christian. Hey, Mark Hobol as well. I have a quick question for you. I've been taking a weight gainer shake post-workout. That is the only shake I have during the day. Someone told me that I'm wasting all my workouts because I'm not taking casein before bed. And also, I need to drink whey protein post-workout, and there's not enough in weight gainers. So my question is, is he right? Should I add some casein, or should I just switch to regular weight post-workout? Thanks a lot. You know what? I give this advice once in a while, and uh, I think this is going to be the perfect reaction to this. And Okay, here's what I recommend you do. Um, that, that individual who told you this information, go up to them. Take your back of your hand. Do this. Lick it. Lick it. Okay? Reach back like you're going to grab something over your shoulder and smack his fucking ass! Fucking dumb fucks! God damn it! I know Corey. Roid Rage, huh? Okay, check it out, guy. No. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter if you eat your protein from eggs, from tuna, from chicken. It doesn't matter if you eat post-workout, an hour after your workout, two hours after your workout. You know what the post-workout window is? 24 hours. In fact, probably even more because EPOC is raised 39 hours post-weight training. God, why do you people listen to stupid people? They're fucking stupid. Okay? Here is what you need to do. If you want to have something easy to eat or drink post-workout, whey protein's fine. I don't really get the point of caseinate. Does it digest a little slower? Yeah. But it doesn't matter. Digestion rates do not fucking matter. Just get adequate protein in your diet. doesn't matter if you eat egg whites, which are super fastly assimilated, if that's even a proper term. Um, doesn't matter if you have tuna, doesn't matter if you have beef, doesn't matter if you have casein, doesn't matter if you have whey, doesn't matter if you drink breast milk. At the end of the day, if you get that protein in, you're fine. Meal timing, meal frequency, number of meals doesn't really matter, dude. You're going to waste all your... Think about how fucking stupid that statement is. You just went to the gym and put overload on your muscles. You fucking crushed it. You're eating fucking a gram of protein per pound of body weight. Yet because you didn't have a specific fucking brand of protein, caseinate, you're going to lose all your gains. Common sense, my man. This is where you needed to slap that motherfucker. God, I bet you this guy's a fucking trainer, isn't he? He's got to be a fucking trainer. I know he's a trainer, and it's probably fucking LA Fitness. Okay, and way post-workout, I sell way. You don't need way post-workout. I like way post-workout because it's quick, easy, and I usually don't have an appetite right after my workout. Um, especially when bulking. But uh, that weight gainer's fine. If that weight gainer helps hit your macronutrients... Fucking drink your weight gainer. It has carbs, protein, and tell his dumb ass that if he wants to get all science motherfucker on you, they showed that whey mixed with casein actually has a better response than whey alone post-workout. But it all doesn't fucking matter. Okay? Here's the deal. He's wrong. He's an idiot. And uh, just keep doing your thing, make fun of him, and call his mother a slut. Because at the end of the day, giving advice like this to people, you know you're not the only one. It's not a game!